So let's find Ride in the Almanac and see, see what it tells us about Ride Harbour. So let's come back a page. This is Ride Harbour here. It's telling us which charts relate to it. It's telling us um, a little bit about the tides and the um, tide times. And then it talks about the harbour it's, itself here. Um, and if we have a little look here, the, the little bit of important information that we're looking for um, is the fact that the harbour dries. Uh, just here. So here we go. Small harbour, 300 metres east of Ride Pier. So this is the pier here. And it dries to approximately 2.3 metres. So at lowest astronomical tide, it sticks up 2.3 metres above um, the sea level. So it dries to 2.3 metres at low water. Okay, now we've got another useful little bit of information up here. Um, it's telling us that the standard port for calculating the tidal heights is Portsmouth. Right. And each standard port has a tidal curve. This is a, this is a tidal curve for Portsmouth. Um, it would be a very thick book if they produced a curve for every single smaller harbour and port. So for the smaller places like Ride, it will reference um, a major port, which is Portsmouth, and then it will give you a little bit of information which allows you to, to, to see um, the variation between this smaller harbour, Ride, and the main port of Portsmouth. So if we have a little look at this, we'll start decoding what this means. So if high water is near midnight or midday, it's going to be 10 minutes early is what that's telling you, minus 10 minutes. If high water is near six o'clock in the morning or six o'clock at night, it's gonna be 10 minutes early. So basically it's gonna be 10 minutes early, okay. the tide is it, it's telling us there. So high water is minus 10 minutes. And low water, if it's near five in the morning or five at night, it's going to be yeah, and if it's near 11 or 2300 hours, That's five minutes already. So low water here is minus five minutes. Let's make that minutes so we don't get muddled up with meters. So we've now got another useful bit of information. Now we're going to decode this bit here. This, this, this is the times, this is the heights. So if at mean high water springs, the tidal height at Portsmouth is 4.7 metres, it's 0.1 of a metre less at Ride. If it's near Neeps, and mean high water Neeps at Portsmouth would be 3.8 metres, it's, it's the same. And for low water... It's the same and low water springs. That's the same. Yeah, so this is 10 centimetres, so it's, it's, it's gonna be practically the same as the Portsmouth tidal curve and just fractionally early. Yeah. So for the object of this exercise, we're pretty happy it's gonna be almost identical as Portsmouth. Well, negligible, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, okay. So what we've done here is we've got a tidal curve. This is just basically this here, reproduce so we can draw on it. Yeah. Um, if it was your almanac, you could draw in that if you wanted to, but it, it does tend to get a bit busy if you've drawn on it more than once. And all I've done is I've taken our high water time and written it in for high water and our low water time. Next thing I need to do is add on our, our tidal heights. Um, wrote them on the back of this piece of paper here. So low water 1434, high water 2138. Next we need our heights, if you want to just go back a page. 
11th of February. How high is it going to be at high water at 21.38? Four metres. So four metres. So high water heights in metres. I'm just going to make a little mark at four metres here. And at 14.31, what's the tidal height? 14.34, you mean? 14.34, sorry. It's yeah. 1.5. So I'm going to make a little mark here at 1.5. I just need a straight edge. I'm just going to grab a ruler. And what I'm going to do is just join these two lines together. Like so. Okay. So when it reaches the top of the curve, it's going to be four metres deep. And right at the beginning, it's going to be one and a half metres deep. All right. What we can do here is we can then fill in these gaps. So we come back an hour, that's 20.38. Now we've got two lines here on the curve, one dotted, one solid. The solid line is for spring tides and the dotted line is for neat tides. Now again, if we go back to our, our, um, our table here, what we have is the dates in blue are neap tides, and as we run through, the dates in red are spring tides. So we're actually quite close to neap tides here. Right, yep. So the one, the one, the line we're particularly interested in is this one here, isn't it? It's neaps. So if we wanted to work out what depth the water was going to be at five o'clock this afternoon, all we do is we come back. That's half past five. So that's five o'clock. We come up to where we meet the dotted line and then across and then back down and that will give us our depth. So at five o'clock this afternoon, it's going to be two metres <coughs> deep. So this, this allows you to do a, a, a quick uh, and ready um, calculation for the exact depth. Yeah. Now this is, as we've worked it out for, is for Portsmouth. Now we know Ride is very similar to this, but the bit of information we had was that Ride dries to 2.3 metres. So we need 2.3 metres for the sand to get wet, and the boat, if we say to Bravo, needs a metre of water to float. So we actually need how much? 3.3. 3.3 metres. So, if we come onto our chart here, 3.3 metres, and this, bearing in mind, is the boat is only just floating. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the slightest ripple and it'll hit the bottom. But if we're taking this as a sort of theoretical time and we draw our line across, draw it right the way across here. This time here is the earliest time we could get into Ride Harbour, theoretically possible, which is 1938 mm. tonight. We'd probably want to add a, a little bit of margin for error there. Say you've got waves of about a metre. If we added another metre on, For the waves, we wouldn't be able to go in at all, would we? No. Because that's the highest the tide's going to be, and we'd want 4.3 metres. If it was absolutely flat calm, and we were happy to come in with just millimetres under the propellers, we could come in at this time, and this time here would give us our time we'd need to be out by, and again we're using the, the dotted line. So if we continue this on, 22, 38, 23, 38, 24, 38. If we follow that line down from where the dotted line is, this will tell us that we have to be out by midnight. Okay. And if, if you wouldn't, in fact, cut it that fine, you know, this, this would tell me today that it's quite bouncy that it's not a good day to go to ride. 